we're back. Hello. Everyone's having a good time. We are at the grand finale festival. Everyone's kind of wrapping up their night and going about some fun little activities. And I know Kawu wants to go get uh, cabbages for pumpkin and tomato. And Medea is going with them. And then there's some bedding going on as well with Mira and Aya. And uh, I imagine Shimiyani is probably not placing bets, but is at least there. <laughs> oh my god, I was, I swear to god, I thought you said bedding, and I was like, whoa, Mire is not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> just Look, if Mira there, like, wants just... to, I'm just... <laughs> <It's fine. laughs> On that note, who would like to go first? <laughs> I mean, personally, I want to hear about pumpkin. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so can, can we find, like, where the cabbages are? And just get all, like, as many as we can. Find a wheelbarrow. And just, like... My cabbages! <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, you, you, you find Medea. a cabbage vendor, uh, and you, you stock up. Uh, hi, hi, uh, Fluffy. <clears throat> We're the, uh, champions, uh, of the Emerald Eye competition. Oh, congrats! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm Kawi, this is Medea. Hello, uh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm Vilma. Um, we were told that we could, um, have as many cabbages as we would like. Oh, okay, yeah, uh, can someone sign a receipt so I can get reimbursed by the, the festival, uh, yes. goers? Oh, okay. Of course. So yeah, she has, like, a little, like, piece of parchment and, uh, I guess just, I guess take what you need and, and, uh, sign, sign for them here and... Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, and I look over at my dad. Like, should we go and see the pumpkin now? Get oh, pumpkin yes. And some I'll, I'll wheel the you... barrow. Yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And Why don't you hop up, on? Up. Oh. <laughs> Land on, <laughs> surrounded with cabbages. Like at a cabbage I'll throne. I'll push it. <laughs> Uh, and go find Pumpkin, and I'm like, Pumpkin! Oh god, I can't speak. I can't speak <laughs> with the animals at the moment. Yeah, the, um, they're very large, uh, they're highs and back, uh, turtles, so oh, you, you can, you can at least see some of them, uh, from over building tops, and you, you kind of, like, go in that general direction, and there's, like, a massive large pen to kind of, like, contain a couple of them, and, and Pumpkin's there. Okay. Um, I look at my dad, like, I, I hope you don't think I was being a little bit underhanded with the cabbage seller, but I thought I thought the event organizer wasn't very fair, um, like, paying us for winning the competition, even though they said they won, we won the competition. So I, I thought they'll get their money back from the competition organizer so I thought it, it, it's fair it's balanced yeah I just, um I I think the intent is what matters and you're trying to feed these creatures yeah yeah they promised made a promise uh, it's and important to keep your promises it really is I look for pumpkin. You want to help me feed pumpkin? I will. And tomato. Of course. Uh, and I'll seek them out. And we'll seek them out. And we'll feed them. Yeah, it's... They're very large. And it, it, you kind of have to, like move around and, and maneuver your way but you eventually find you know pumpkin and, and uh, a slightly smaller and slightly smaller like i think 15 feet tall uh 
Ouch. Yeah, it's, <laughs> tomato's maybe like 10 feet tall. And, you know, consider it a, a small one. And uh, just kind of like munching on various things as like a puppy would. It's kind of like whatever's in front of them, they're just like, oh, here's a wagon to chomp. Oh, here's some like a bush chomp. Just kind of like grazing. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll hand them out and and then just distribute them to whichever horizon backs are around. If there's any left over, it might not be. They get very excited when they see cabbages. Roll me dexterity, the both of oh, you. Oh no. <laughs> oh, this is not great. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are gonna get chomped on. We're gonna get crushed. <laughs> I rolled a 13. Just, uh, not a save. Was it just dexterity? Oh. 16. Oh my god, two net ones. <gasps> this is perfect. <laughs> oh no. Perfect. So unfortunately, oh, no. they're very excited. And he kind of accidentally started a stampede. Uh, and the ground is just kind of like rumbling a bit. And, you know, they, they didn't mean any harm, but you do kind of get like batted a little bit uh, by like a, a leg kind of moving forward. And, and you... You, you kind of get tossed airborne. You land in like a, a back of a wagon with hay. Like you, it, you're not hurt, um, but something is broken. That's As you, <laughs> you have drawn the ruin card. So one non-magical oh. item uh, has been broken. Oh, what is not magical? Inventory. Oh, my bird pipes. My sweet, sweet bird pipes. Handed down through the family, through the Duskwing family for generations. No! Oh. You now Minimal have fragments. Sweet music. <laughs> These are now fragments. How am I gonna, how am I Ooh, gonna tell my um, <clears throat> uh, As like you go flying through the air, Medea's freaking out and she's trying to like catch you. And then she like stumbles up against the cart and you land in the hay. She goes, are you all right, Kawu? I'm not okay. I'm not okay. What's wrong? Where are you hurt? <laughs> Luke. And I hold up the smashed bird pipes. Oh, Kawu. <laughs> oh, my mum gave these to me on my 21st. It will be all right. Yeah. And she holds out her big for bulk hands to you. <laughs> no, give me the pipes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hug you. I was asking for your thing that broke. What the fuck? Of course. Here you go. <laughs> I slump, I um, slump back into the hay, just looking defeated, oh. and ego slightly hurt. Uh, and uh, Medea will say, "Never fear. Sometimes all you need is a little bit of hope." And she will begin to cast mending on it. Oh. And what you see is out of nowhere, little um little blades of grass begin to grow out of her palms and they're this sort of like translucent green magic and they begin to wrap around the different fragments and they kind of push everything back into the pieces and places they're supposed to be and you see the vines uh sorry the blades of grass they seem to kind of meld with it and they disappear as the item is made whole it says there you go almost good as new oh my days you fixed it Thank you! I, I flap up and give you a big hug and grab oh, the bird pipes. Oh. Yes. And, and then do a little uh, 
on the on the bird pipes just to test them out they're perfect they're better they're better than they were before these are amazing oh, you're you're amazing oh cow thank you for the kind words what did you want to do well um i you know uh it's only uh polite that we should uh go see how our rivals are doing right you know just to check on them for no reason any any particular rival no i mean if, if you know uh maggie um i don't know the name of anyone else we should hmm. introduce ourselves i think we didn't really have and an opportunity to digest yeah, what we all experienced. It was a lot. Um, people are complicated, and that whole thing under with the, the amulet, that was really complicated. And yeah, maybe we'll talk with talk about it sometime. But yeah, let's go see our new friends. I want to apologize for the moon being. I think I hurt someone with that. Well, the wheelbarrow is empty if you want to hop back into it. Okay. Yeah. Squeak, squeak, and squeak, it, squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> and I'll do the, I'll do the, I'll play the bird pipes as we're leaving. This faint music travels down the road as we lululu over to Mira and Era and Jimiani. So, what were you proposing? <laughs> so, Mira, look, I know you are quite the entrepreneur, I think is how you might put it. And I think it would be absolutely criminal if you and I did not play a very friendly game of dragon chess together with stakes of course with stakes of course as always sounds like a very good plan and if we so happen to play it publicly and if people become enthralled with our amazing charismatic display and want to also uh bet on uh you know the the stakes at hand we we should not we should not keep that from them i think no no i think this would be a absolutely stunning show for the people here it's we're celebrating it's a festival it's a people festival. clearly love games here so let's give them another yes. one to enjoy i agree And I think maybe uh, Mira and Ada kind of like set up like in the middle of this tavern, yeah. just like whatever the booth is, that the table that is like most central in the space, I think we like set up there. <laughs> I invite uh, Bonnie and all her friends over to, uh, uh, you know, some, some local support um, so that there's some, you know, some exciting new faces and some familiar faces for everyone to uh, par participate with. And <laughs> sorry, yeah, go ahead. Uh, I think uh, as as y'all are gathering people, um, Shimanyani has uh, went off to the bar to get some hot tea for Mira and Ada and myself. And I think like after y'all have gathered like a crowd. Um, Shimignani comes back and places a teacup in front of the both of you, and they have their own as well. Thank you very much, Shimignani. Well, and no I problem. think Ida takes the teacup in both of their hands and, like, sips it. And I'm just gonna pull up a chair and just sit there. Like, I imagine the two of you are sitting facing each other to play this game, and I'm sitting in between you just to watch. All right, Mina, uh, your turn first. Metallic <sighs> dragons always go I before the so chromatic bad. dragons. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
what are we rolling for this out of, out of curiosity that's what i'm that's what i'm like looking are you, at are now, any of you cause... proficient with like game gaming tools and picked dragon chess? i'm proficient in dragon chess why do you then think you i suggested that. this game <laughs> Basically, you, uh, <laughs> you'd probably roll intelligence with your proficiency bonus. Oh okay. God, why? <laughs> Are you doing this to me? <laughs> um. Yeah. Well, I'm prepared to lose, but make a very good show, hopefully, of it at least. You know. The number to beat um, is eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I I would have to roll like a net 20 because I have negative intelligence. <laughs> yeah, it's still possible. You could use your hero points. Yeah, if you yeah. Want to. You could no, use no. your hero points. <laughs> That's no fun. That's no fun. I, I think Mira is more about like the show of it and the game of having games. Like Mira is used to losing a lot, I think, <laughs> like, quite honestly. But it's, the last time it's you lost, fine. You got a date. It's, <laughs> it's about the experience, yes. Plus I, like, you know, uh, it's, it's about living life and adventure. And sometimes when you go on an adventure, you lose a bunch, but that's okay. Cause you have fun experiences and you start dating a local and you <laughs> like, <laughs> and you um I I think like I'm gonna roll, don't worry. I'm not <laughs> I'll see how, how <laughs> terribly I lose. Build up. I this is this is Mira. <laughs> like um they definitely like you know are like talking about like oh my god, they're probably pulling up some phony baloney. Do you know the history of dragon chess and the meaning of like it isn't just isn't saying this for Era because Era has heard this before. You know what I mean? Is <laughs> saying it for an audience um, and a crowd that they are trying to gather and uh, trying to get people involved so that people are having fun with us. Um, but at the end of the day, they have to roll their intelligence. <laughs> and I can't you? Even... Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so for uh, for the audience that was that was a natural seven minus one a reasonable six above a five <laughs> very reasonable. you rolled more than five congratulations I, I would, <laughs> the crowd still finds this entertaining but there's a good portion uh of people who know that you're you're not <laughs> I'm full of baloney. <laughs> you're, yeah, you're full of baloney. <laughs> but the, but they're curious to see where you're going with this. <laughs> yeah, I'm weaving a tail. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> it's like they you know it's a very of... creative. It's a very creative and unorthodox tactic that Mira yeah. is using during this game mm. specifically. It's novel. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, while while the game is going on, I think. Um, Yanni, I think, gets up and leaves at one point, um, to go looking for the other group. If, if they're not, like, seated in the general vicinity, I think Yanni genuinely was genuine about the small talk from earlier, so they want to go talk to the other group, um, and just, like, get to know them a little better, especially since, like, I, I I think they'd be trying to figure out like what they thought of the vision that we all saw and like just to try to get a read on that um uh because i think like mira has gathered like a huge crowd between like ada and yeah, themselves that's a good portion and after a while yeah and and, and yanni's like this is uh too much <laughs> so they're gonna go and try and find other people to talk to <laughs> yeah i think as Sorry, I, before you head out, you um, you can do your whole thing, and Ada, you can do. If there's anything happening there, I'm gonna kindly look away and uh, <laughs> listen. I've seen I've seen what's happening, but it's fine. Um, I am gonna casually into the stories I'm weaving of like stuff. I'm going to try and see if uh anyone in like the local vicinity i'm gonna throw out 
the name we heard. Um, Alexian. And see if I can get a hit from the crowd. Hmm. No one seems to to show any kind of like acknowledgement on it. That's still that's still information. Mm -hmm. You know, the locals don't recognize that name. Okay, thank you. <laughs> As for the uh the other group, you, you find them uh at an outside kind of like patio uh next to like the tavern where they can be like outside and stuff like that. And I feel like you kind of get there at the same time uh Medea rolls up with the wheelbarrow and Kawu in tow. <laughs> what what's this? What happened? A successful mission. No one has explained to Yanni yet that pumpkin tomato are names of turtles. Like, no. like that still hasn't <laughs> happened. So Yanni's just like nodding along, like, okay, yep, yep, okay. Um, and they're gonna um, sit down in a chair next to the group and um, introduce themselves um, and Medea and Kawu. And. They, they just kind of like they're kind of you know having conversation and, and stuff like that and you know they're still laughing and, and jovial but you just feel like there is that tension there but you know after the vision it, that's not doesn't seem out of place uh but when you, you just sit down just kind of like you know, like looking like oh uh <clears throat> and they kind of like go like around uh ramen kind of thing and a little goblin uh Chap, uh, I'm, 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 I'm Dermot. Uh, and then Ao is kind of like what? lounging. Uh, his name is Dermot. Oh, Dermot. And what's up, Ao? And then uh, Maggie just kind of like nods. I, I, I think you know mine, but I'm uh, Maggie. Yes, I, I remember you. You're very strong. And the shaggy haired human is like, Irvin! That's, that's, yep, yeah, that's me. And this is, uh, Gal, Galceria. And kind of like elbows the drow. And that was kind of like, does an eye roll. Like, hey. It's nice to meet you. Formally, anyway. Yeah, we've kind of interacted and ran by each other in good race. You know, like, everyone kind of just like a... You put up I'm a... I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry challenge. about the moonbeam. Whoever... <laughs> Ao? Um, it I didn't was Ao, yes. To go through it. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't expect anyone to go through that. Uh, I thought, you know, one's going to block that. No one's going to come through... We're good, uh, but I told you that uh, I, I yelled at you to uh, take it down. Well, did you I hear me? I thought you had been. Yeah, I did hear you, but I thought you'd been like charmed or something. Why? Why would I be charmed? Because they threw a javelin, and Era slashed one. It was like a fight, so magic had happened. There was the 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 black hole. That was sucking us in, like bending gravity. What was it? Was that bit? Were you bending gravity? It was a harpoon. <laughs> yeah, it, it was kind of like fixed. I was like, yeah, it was a harpoon. It was just to block your way. I wasn't trying to like hit anybody. But, you know, I dove into that moonbeam. So, yeah, that's on me. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. It was on me. Oh, spare the but competition. I'm sorry. You got, I'm sorry. Are you still hurt from it? Oh no, and she kind of like slaps uh, Dermot on the back. Just, Dermot got me. We're good. You see that Medea's like That's halfway good. into pulling dandelions out. Then she's like, oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Puts them back. Oh, away. those those taste really good. Uh, Yanni says, pointing at them. Oh, and that just gives Yanni them instead. 
Oh. And the drow, Galsariad, he kind of like straightens up and he's like, uh, yeah, that was a gravity wave. It was just to, you know, pull you away from the, the entrance so we could get around you. Not that it worked. I need to improve on that. Um, smart. That was smart. <laughs> he kind of like brightens up when he's like, hmm. So where, where are all of you from? I think we're all from, uh, well, generally, you know, this continent. Irvin kind of like shrugs. We're, we we kind of met recently, except for uh, Eo. Eo's from from here. And it's like from this town. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is must... I grew up. Do you like being home? No. That's why I'm trying to become an adventurer so I can like leave. <laughs> Thought you know, it was the best that way. Makes sense. Finally had like an awesome team. Actually made it to the grand finale. It's the farthest I've made it. That's awesome. Congratulations. Thanks. Would have liked to have won, but well. There's There's always a... next year. <laughs> it was kind of like a look of like... <laughs> One more year. <laughs> <laughs> One more year. Just kind of like, yeah, ne yeah, next year. She kind of like just takes like a big sip of her ale. Well, it looks like you found some good friends and companions this year. You worked very well together. Maggie just kind of like... As much as <laughs> like head would kind of like touch the roof, she like straightened up. Was, I think we perform admirably together. Uh, they, they've got some good heads for strategy. So, what's next for you all? They kind of just like look at each other and kind of like. Well, uh, I guess we gotta think on that tonight. And Irvin kind of like sh shakes his head and scratches, and you know, there's always like escort jobs if Ao really wants to, you know, get out of here. But what, what do you make of what we saw? Ah, uh, that. They all kind of just like stare at their cups for a second, like, uh. Does I that name mean? No, I've, I've never, and, and they all kind of like go around and they like shrug and, like, and I was like, I have no idea who that guy was. What about the moon weaver or change bringer? The arc heart is Corleone, mm -hmm. but I don't know the other two. Well, uh, and I was like, well. Moonweaver, you know, the grotto is an old temple of hers. Um, Who? I'm gonna say Celine, because that's the word my brain can pronounce. Um, You're valid. <laughs> <laughs> say it brain, one more time for me. <laughs> just does not want to say things. Um, my best guess would be Sehanin. I think so, Sehanin. Sahanin? Yeah. I think I've looked it up like five Selene times and fine. I forget every time. Selene is fine. <laughs> <laughs> My head can is just Selene. Um, it's your world. It's your game. It can be Selene <laughs> if you want it to be. You make the rules here. As long as you know here. who I'm talking about. Uh, and yeah, well, change bringers uh, of Andra, you know, the typical Deities, I, I, I suppose. What are you gonna do with the knowledge that you got on that vision? You plan to do I feel like we it? should try, right? Or I, 
I, I, I suppose we, we should. And she kind of like, you know, kind of like looks at her cup and I, I, it would be a really cool adventure, but I don't, I don't know where to start. Do you know where to start? I think we wanted to sleep on it and see if there was any one in this town that might know anything more. Well, if you... Urshu might, the, you know, the dude who ran the festival. He's the most knowledgeable. <gasps> Lovely GM, what was that name again? <laughs> Urshu. Urshu, okay. I can provide spellings and names uh, in a second. No worries, I'm just... Your friendly local note taker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so he would know. If that, that would be my guess. If anyone, okay, he might at least know where to go look. Thank you. And I think like Shimonyani's like facial expression still looks really troubled. Um, cause something about this, like, doesn't feel right to them, but they can't quite place why. Um, and, uh, th th where, where, the location that we are all celebrating at, is that the same as the inn that we get free lodging at, or? Yeah. yeah it's kind of like, okay. building adjacent, attached, like, it's kind of like one complex kind of thing. Gotcha. I think, um... Probably a bit suddenly, uh, Shimignani stands up from this little outside gathering, excuses themselves, and then walks back inside to just, like, lurk in the corner because they don't want to leave Ada mm -hmm. and to go upstairs, but they really just want to go upstairs and, like, be alone. Uh, but they're going to just, like, stick to the wall and just, like, keep an eye on this game and just, like... Hoping that no one comes to talk to them. They are, they are done. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I I understand that level of like I am just done with crowds and people and social interaction. Just nope. Lots of mist. Lots yeah. of mist. <laughs> <laughs> just give an air of like, do not come close. Um, <clears throat> Medea is like the opposite energy. Medea is always the last person to leave, and she's always like putting all the plates together and taking them like to the kitchen. It's like she doesn't work here, and I'm sure there's people who do that, but she's always the one that's like, oh, we finished with these. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the table, you know, they, they they kind of like pick up on that, and they, whenever they've like kind of a drink, they kind of like started like just naturally like moved it kind of like closer to your way. So you mm -hmm. like, you could reach and like kind of collect it. Kind of thing. Yeah, Medea seems very pleased to do this. Oh, anything else? If everyone's sort of winding down and stuff, I would probably go outside, take myself away from people, mm -hmm. much like Yanni probably, um, and spend some time under the stars uh, and looking at them and holding my star map, so holding my crystal up and just contemplating it, and then cause, uh, casting um, light through it and bringing out the star map and then having a look at where the constellations of the Moonweaver and Changebringer and Arka are in the sky. Um, and then seeing, is there any relationship between their positions? Um, just studying, like, we've had these, this incredible vision um, with these gods mentioned. Um, and I just want to know, is there a relationship between them? Um, just in the stars. You do happen to notice that uh, Moonweaver's constellation seems to be kind of like directly above you, like in line uh, to this general like area. Like it's 
looking down on on you. Um, our carts is kind of like more across the horizon. You can't quite make it out too much. And then the change bringers is kind of like maybe a 45 degree angle uh, to the slight southeast. Okay. All right. I'll make a note of that. I might even sort of like pin that <laughs> on my star map. Uh, and maybe just draw like, like lines in my head, um, or even with Druidcraft, sort of like, because I'll, I'll be doing this, I, I said I'd take myself away, I would just fly straight up, I'd fly up, and then just be, you know, 300 feet in the air, just hovering, oof, 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 and just holding and doing this, and then just sort of like looking around, just taking it all in, and then just pinning that pinning those lines and making a note of that and then just whoosh, silently on soft wings spiral back down from like that distance and and your experience and knowledge with like star maps and stuff like that um if the moonweaver's constellation is kind of like in line with this temple right now uh the change bringers seems like it's not all that far off Oh really? Okay. That's interesting. At least compared to our cart, which is it seems like very much distant horizon. Right. Okay. Oh. So and right. We got told we as a group we got told that uh, moon this was a moon weaver temple. Ao mentioned that so at the table. Group? Yeah. Okay, and if change bringer is there, and okay, and Kawu's mind's kind of racing with this knowledge, uh, and is very excited, and just drops out the sky, and then poofs before he lands. Alrighty, anyone else for the evening? Or are we all just going to? Maybe lose a lot of money playing cards <laughs> or win. <laughs> Who knows? Imagine, Medea, you are the last one at the table. Uh, and you make sure everyone's taken care of before everyone kind of, you know, goes up for the night. Everyone, you know, goes to bed more or less. Whether they have a restful sleep or not remains to be seen. We'll have to find out next time because that is the end of the episode. That's so ominous. What? <laughs> okay, May. What what nightmares are you gonna be throwing at us? <laughs> yeah. What is Thank the next you, episode May. starting with you describing what a horrible night we all had? <laughs> <laughs> I I I guess like I'm a person who doesn't sleep all that well, so it's like if I had mm. a weird vision, I might toss and turn. <laughs> Mm. Find That's out fair. on That's next fair. week's episode of Visions of Gold. <laughs> <laughs>